Welcome to Dream in Color. This is Virginia Porta, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today, I'm coming to you to share a card that was inspired by handcrafted creations. We will be using the Swirly Bird stamps and the Swirly Scribbles thinlets. The colors we will choose today will be Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, and pumpkin pie. The Swirly Bird stamp set is product 141749 and the sentiment comes from Dragonfly Dreams 142924. Here are the paper cuts you will need to make. Using very vanilla for your base, you'll cut the paper at 4 and a quarter by 11 and score it at 5 and a half. You will make other cuts as listed below using garden green and pumpkin pie. We'll begin the process by stamping the background bubbles from the Swirly Bird set, stamp set in the three colors that are shown. Remember, when you stamp on a card like this, you'll want to stamp off of the edge, and when you have an, icon, an image like this, you will want to turn it as you stamp so that you don't get any patterning. I'll speed up the video for the other two colors. As you stamp these three colors, you, like I said, you will turn the image so that you don't get any patterning. You'll also want to stump off the edges. I always do a test stamp once on scrap paper just to make sure that the image is what I want. Then, as you stamp the other two colors, you'll overlap them some so that you get the blending of the colors across there. Now the question might be, how did I come up with these colors? I also borrowed that idea from Handcrafted Creations and used a random number generator and assigned it to my colors and simply said, give me three numbers and let's see what we can make out of it. It makes for a little bit of a challenge, but a lot of fun. The Swirly Bird stamp set comes from the annual catalog and although I have used it in nautical type things and more summery colors, this is the first time I've used it for fall colors, and I think it works out very well. Now, we'll add a stripe of the pumpkin pie to the left-hand side of the card. This is the three-quarter inch strip that we cut earlier. We'll adhere that with snail adhesive simply to give the card some grounding to the left. You can also substitute ribbon or any other fibers that you might have on hand but I was in an effort to keep this a little more flat I thought I'd use just a piece of cardstock. You'll notice that I pulled up the tech, pulled it up and reset it. It was a little crooked and I did cut it a little bit longer than it needed to be that way I covered in case my cardstock was not cut perfectly on my card base. The next thing we're going to do we'll use those three colors of paper that we talked about and using the Swirly Scribbles Thinlets, cut three circles. I'll fiddle with those a little bit and get those on the card like I like. Now, the one thing y'all want you to see is the fine tip glue gun, or fine tip glue pen that I'm using. That is a must have when you're dealing with these delicate thinlets like this. I love this glue and I can't get enough of it. It lasts forever, but the thing is you can control where it goes and you can control exactly how much you use. After putting those thinlets on, I took the smaller card base and adhered it to the garden green background. And then, after making sure the card was folded the right direction, I put it on the card base that I had folded vertically. At this point, I realized that we needed a sentiment on this card, so that's when I accessed the Dragon Dreams Dragonfly Dream stamp set and found the sentiment on the front that says, To a Wonderful Friend. That's cut on a piece of very vanilla that is three inches by three quarters of an inch. And then the companion sentiment is cut on the inside. And it says, enjoy your special day. This is a great card that you can use for a birthday, for a pick me up, for an anniversary. And it goes either way for men or women. So this is a great card to have on hand. And I probably will be making more to have in my stash. Another trick, when you're, another trick, when you're stamping a sentiment like this that's rather narrow, 
rather than pre-cutting your paper and trying to make sure the sentiment centers on the paper, I cut a larger piece of paper, stamped my sentiment, and then trimmed it to the three inches by three and three quarters. Three inches by three quarters. I then used the mini dimensionals that are also in the annual catalog to adhere the sentiment at the bottom right hand corner of the card. Here you'll see me put in the, sen the, the sentiment on the inside, which is, says, enjoy your day. These products can all be found on my website or connecting through my blog. For, for, for more information, visit my blog at uh, www.dreamandcolor.blog or my website that you can access through Stampin' Up. Thanks for joining me.